Blessed good morning, my beautiful people. This dear girl Leah once again. Pray all is well with you. Um, happy Sunday to you guys. Today I'm going to show you how I'm making my pumpkin punch. I'll be doing pumpkin punch and I'm going to show you a tutorial way. So first I have the pumpkin and I peel it off. You don't have to peel off the pumpkin. To be honest, you don't have to. But the reason why I peel off my pumpkin, the blender that I'm using, is not really the blender that I really needed to use and um, the right blender will just crush it right out the skin and everything but my blender i need um my blender is a lower grade blender i should say so for now i peel my pumpkin um you can use the skin and you can even use the middle part of the pumpkin here the skin also use and you can use the seed also um, this gives you a richer blend also and the seed, the pumpkin seed is really good also. However, I peel off all the all this. I'm not gonna use in this today, but I'll show you how I use it another day because I expect to buy a blender soon. So right now, here I have some pumpkin and I peel the pumpkin. I already put the pot on the stove, so I'm gonna cut up these, I'm gonna wash them, and I'm gonna put them to boil. Now you're gonna put them to boil without no salt, no salt added. You just gotta boil the pumpkin, and after it is boiled, you don't have to boil it fully, you can just boil it halfway. But after it's finished boiled, then I'm gonna show you as I go along. So don't go anywhere. So guys, as you can see, I'm now cutting the pumpkin. There's no special way of cutting. And this pumpkin is a lovely pumpkin. So I know it's going to make a lovely pumpkin punch. Because um, to make pumpkin punch, it's not just using pumpkin. The pumpkin, once it's a lovely dry, and you know, the pumpkin must be very colorful. It's going to give you a lovely uh, um, blend, a lovely pumpkin punch. And you know, this is what I'm looking for because they are trying to please a customer. Because I'm making pumpkin punch for all that. I send out my little pumpkin punch to sell and my little juice. You know, I do everything to help myself. So this is one of the ways that I'm trying to help myself, you know. So um, I'll be cutting up the pumpkin. And there's no special way to cut a pumpkin. You just cut a pumpkin in cubes or however you feel like cut it. And just make sure that it's off boil or it's boiled for, for blending. So right now, I'm just going ahead and cutting my pumpkin, guys. So here I cut the pumpkin guys, I'm just going to cut this piece in two. So guys, I already washed them but we just got to wash them again through the strainer. I already have the pot on the stove. As I said, you can use the skin when making a pumpkin punch. But um, I do know that the blender that I'm using as I stated before, it's not really a high-tech blender. And we don't want, I don't want to have bits and pieces in it, so I just peel it for today. But sometimes I just wash it or scrape it and leave the skin on it. So after I wash it now, I'm going to put it, you don't need salt, you just got to put the water to boil and put the pumpkin in it. And then it just got to boil. So here I have the pumpkin on the stove and don't mind like you see one seed or two, that's okay. So now I'm just going to let it boil. So I'm just going to turn on by the stove and just going to cover it and let it boil. I'll show you my ingredients as I go along. So here we have it guys. The pumpkin is already boiled. So now I'll be set it aside to cool. So while the pumpkin is cooling, I'm going to show you. Okay, you don't want to make it when it's still hot because it will spoil easily. So now that the pumpkin is cooked and set aside to cool, then I put together all my ingredients to show you what I'll be using. So here are all my ingredients, guys. Here I have my nutriment right here. I have my molassi. I have me some, some cream, cardinal cream. And I have sweet condensed milk. I have my cinnamon. I have my nutmeg. And the body of nutmeg is good, guys. Here I have me some vanilla. I have my Guinness. I have me my Ray and Navy rum. And these are my ingredients. But guys, this I have my secret ingredients here. And this is the best, guys. When you put a little of this into your pumpkin punch, sell off. So, now guys, I guess it's no longer a secret. I'm now gonna just put everything to the blender 
and I've got the blend guys and then I've got the bottle so right now the pumpkin already cooled down well cooled and ready to be blend so I'm going to head and start blend right now so right now I'm going to be pouring some cinnamon and this is spice to spice it up some nutmeg I don't want to use as much but not overpower it I'm going to pour in some vanilla I'm going to put in some guineas I'm going to put in a little nutriment to it rich and I'm going to put a little molasses so I'm putting in some peanut butter some peanut butter to it uh -huh. scrape it right in and a little molasses and I'm going to cover it in blend guys this is what the punch look like so as you can see it nice and thick and this is just a piece of the nutmeg right here piece of nutmeg you can just peel it out or you could just leave it in and we're just gonna start guys and for this guys I'm gonna add some more nutriment to it. Here you have the nutriment because you want it creamy and nice, tasty. So this is some nutriment. Uh -huh. I'm gonna add a little more Guinness to it because I never pour all the Guinness in the blender. And I'm gonna sweeten it guys. After I got to add a little evap cream, which you could um, leave out the evap cream if you want to. Now you're going to sweeten it with some sweet milk. So I'm just pouring in the sweet milk. You remember first time sweet milk is a bit so thick? Ridiculous. So right now, God bless what you're getting for your money. Everything raise up and god bless what you're getting for your money and this amount is going to take like two sweet milk and then in the last i'm going to tip some more rum to it guys you can imagine when i put this to chill with the ray and never rum and tasting a little of that guinness a little bitterness to it and then you have that um, cinnamon taste, the nutmeg taste, and you have that vanilla taste, and the molasses to it, guys. Very rich and very nutritious. And you might have a loved one who he, he or she can't manage to have solid food. This is a perfect food for them. Perfect. That's what they need for them. Except you're going to leave the out the the alcohol because I'm making this myself so um, the alcohol is what really keep it purified and have it to, to last a while but if for instance you're making for someone who don't take alcohol it's fine you can put even a vitamol or you cannot put a vitamol and it will be fine just this way so guys here you have it 
pumpkin punch is finished and ready to bottle, ready to go out. Looking lovely, tasty too, guys. So guys, peanut butter. So yeah, the peanut butter, the vanilla, the nutmeg, the cinnamon powder, the molasses, the sweet condensed, the if of cream, and guys, a little rum and some guineas and a nutrient. What more could I ask for? Look at this, guys. And it is ready to bottle and ready for distribution, guys. So these are my bottles, guys. I purchased these bottles. Um, normally I have to buy 50 or more but I don't just don't use the bottles like those uh, what I did I wash out the bottles so get them ready because sometimes you don't know what may in the bottle maybe little pieces of particles from um, with the machine manufacturer like when it was making so when I purchase them I normally will put them under the pipe wash them out and I give them a good wash so I put them in this big pot right here and then now I will wash the funnel because I now go to bottle them and I rest the funnel like this into it guys so this is how I will do it and then now I'm going to scoop it up and I'm going to pour it to each one and then it will be ready for time to cover so after I finish bottle them then I'm going to cover them and then I'm going to freeze them and then I'll send them out to sell you know, God um, help those who help themselves. You know, we are facing some very tight times right now. So, another way where you can make an extra dollar, you have to try to be creative in order to survive. So, this is one of the many ways that I so choose to help myself on the side. So, I give God thanks, glory for His grace and His mercy, for health and for strength, in order to able to can do this. Um, doesn't matter what profit you're making, once you're making some profit, I give God thanks. And I'm very grateful, you know, gratitude is a must for me. And this is the finishing touch of my pumpkin punch. So I already put them in the freezer now. And I'm going to move on to make some carrot with ginger. So okay, now guys, I move on to my ginger. And that is some ginger with some carrot. So I'm doing some ginger and carrot punch. Only, it's like a juice, but it's more thick. And I'm not using no milk for this. I put the ginger to it. I'm gonna sweeten it with some sugar. I might tip a little wrong. Just a little top. You don't even taste in it, but it's just to preserve it. And you can make it without it. And this is what I'm gonna be doing right now. So this will be my ginger carrot lid. So right now, I'm gonna blend now, guys.